Owned 16, giving up an average of nearly 8 goals a game. The High Prairie Regals and Fort St. John Flyers matchup pitted worst versus first, but the away side did anything but roll over and hand the Birds an easy win, despite only dressing 11 skaters. Early on, it was Fort St. John throwing the kitchen sink at goalie Sanford Lamouche, stood strong though, made a number of saves. Then on the power play, it's High Prairie against the run of play as the Regals took a 1-0 lead. Sustained pressure will eventually lead to goals, though FSJ quickly tied the game up. Robbie Sadu with a rocket snuck it by the tendy. Flyers then took the lead three minutes after that. Jeremy Bent in his Flyers debut netted one to put his team up by one. Looking for more, Joey Massingham basically in the blue paint stymied by Lamouche. The Flyers continued to dominate possession and time on attack, getting numerous chances to extend their lead. But they'd have to wait until near the end of the first, Josh Bostock roof daddy giving Fort St. John some breathing room. Up 3-1 after 20, the shot totals told more of the story. FSJ outshot High Prairie 23-5 in the opening frame. Close thanks to saves like those, pretty incredible. Not invincible though, about 5 minutes into the second with the man advantage. Nice skill by Rick Cleaver to roof it in close, FSJ went up by 3. But the Regals didn't go away, defensive breakdown by the Flyers, two players wide open in front as Darwin Payu smashed this in, putting High Prairie within two. More domination from Fort St. John in the second, out shooting the away side 20-5, but again only led by two goals after 40 minutes of play. But it would be put to bed midway through the third, Ryan Carter with a short-handed breakaway tucked at five hole. Six minutes later, another shorty Carter again as the Flyers win this 1-6 to the final. Outshot their opponents 61 to 15. Overall, a dominant performance. Heading into this one, the Flyers just wanted to stick to the game plan. What worries me is when you play teams like High Prairie, you get into bad habits, uh, not executing what we work on. Uh, the guys are pretty good about that tonight. We had a couple of lapses, of course, but that happens in games like this. With the win, the Flyers opened up a big lead for first in the West and a league. If they can secure top spot, they'll earn a bye in the first round, and then take on the winner of the second, third matchup in the East. With three tough games left, the Flyers are focused on getting the necessary points to lock up first place. We have Dawson Creek, we have Spear River, we have Grimshaw. Three teams that are basically just below us. Uh, it's crucial. I mean, these guys understand that first place is the key to to winning or to helping our playoff run, um, and that is their focus right now. Fort St. John will need at least four points from their remaining three games to secure first, but their clinching scenarios will be much clearer the next time they play, which isn't until next Thursday when they take on the senior Canucks in Dawson. Derek Lightfoot, CJDC TV Sports, Fort St. John.